Hi guys, welcome back to another video tutorial lesson. In this lesson, you're gonna learn how to transform this static HTML form into a working WordPress form with the plugin Contact Form 7. And uh, I'm gonna show you, for example, if you submit this form, as you can see, um, it has already validation. This is a working form with contact form 7. Okay, and I'm going to show you in a while how to do this. Without wasting time, let's begin. Okay, um, just before begin, uh, in this lesson, I will have a focus on this contact form. And uh, this field, I mean this text, um, I know you can do it guys because there is no secret. I have already made plenty of example of that and also to output I mean this image but if you are new to this channel so you can go to the previous lesson and see how to do this and this is very easy no secret at all okay so um, what I'm gonna do to begin uh, I'm gonna uh, install let's install the plugin contact form 7 to see how to transform this static HTML form into a WordPress form. Okay, now to install the plugin, we're gonna head to our WordPress dashboard and from there go to plugins and add new. Okay, and uh, we're gonna search for contact contact form, contact form seven. Okay, this is the plugin we wanna install. Install now. It's gonna take a couple of seconds, okay, and activate. Okay, after installing and activate the plugin, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to I um, mean contact, okay, and from there, contact form, and this is the default form that comes with uh, the installation of the contact form seven. And what you wanna do, um, you wanna, I mean, customize this default i mean contact form to look this way okay and how we're gonna do this um we're gonna let me show you we're gonna head to our code editor and here as you can see so you see this is with set so you see a uh, wall okay one wall and you see um this is um a two column okay and one wall one wall okay what we're gonna do we're gonna use the same class here okay with the div and the same class form group for the input text and inside the input text we're gonna use form control and you're gonna, you're gonna see in a while how uh you can do this to look exactly i mean this way i mean to look exactly the same okay so um let's go Okay, to proceed guys, let's head back to our code editor and we're gonna copy uh, the entire row. Okay, the entire row. Okay, this row and paste here. And uh, I'm gonna get rid of this because you're gonna see why I'm doing this. Okay, and I remove the input field and the button and here from here i'm gonna copy i mean the form okay copy the form and from now let's go back to our our wordpress dashboard and just below paste the code and from there what i'm gonna what i'm gonna only need i'm gonna need this okay just pay attention paste it here i mean the next this is email okay and the next i remember it was let's go back it was message i will take only the message field okay uh message text area message okay and the other this is submit button okay okay and now 
we're gonna add class uh, I'm gonna show you how to add class to this form to look exactly I mean this way okay now let's head back to our code editor to see the form okay okay index so as you can see we already uh, put form guap and now it means form control and how to put this class in the input text of the contact form 7 so let's go back again okay uh, according to the documentation uh, I'm not sure I already I mean copy the field okay let's copy and go back again okay and uh, okay now what we're gonna do to add a class in this what you wanna do okay according to the documentation this is how to add class you put class and I mean colon and the name of the class form control okay and I'm gonna copy this to the rest okay space the class space add the class and this one for this one I mean uh, you can't add the class after this but it has a uh, another class but it has two classes but we can add class after this submit because um, this question was asked um, okay let me I'm gonna show you why let me do this with you so you're gonna see why we can add class after this I'm gonna add this class this button has I mean two classes and let me show you how to add multiple class this is this way class colon and this space I'm gonna add the other class okay so uh, the other class okay copy let's go back okay and uh, class colon and here from now let's save I'm gonna get rid of this okay because it was only to copy the fields and let's save so after saving guys what you're gonna do you're gonna I mean just copy just copy I mean uh, the short code and let's go back to our code editor so to output the short code um, so the contact form 7 already have form and let's get let's I mean get rid I'm gonna comment all of these um, if we have errors to get back and from now I'm gonna open PHP tags and to echo short code that's how we do echo do underscore short code okay and get rid of this and okay and like this okay so and save and from now let's go back to our site okay and from here let's reload okay as you can see guys so already done I mean almost done okay the work is almost done so you see um, I was telling you that uh, it has a class but um, but it's not okay I'm gonna show you why um, I'm gonna show you why so let's go back to our WordPress dashboard I'm gonna show you and uh, as you can see it has I mean the classes but why it's not okay like I was um, telling you this question was asked on stack overflow and how to solve that we have to remove this from here and put it at the end and save and uh, from now um, let's reload okay as you can see guys it's okay okay and um, what it means I mean the placeholder and I'm gonna show you how to 
add placeholder in the fields. So from now to add placeholder in the fields, let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. We're gonna type placeholder, okay, space, and like this, okay. You're gonna add name, okay. Oh, sorry guys, name, and I'm gonna copy this, okay. And this will be email. Okay, and this will be message. Okay, and from now, let's save. Okay, so um, let's make a test. Okay, let's reload. And guys, as you can see, uh, name, email, message, submit. So this is the same form. Okay, it looks the same. Okay, no difference. Okay, and let's make a test. Okay, uh, let's click on the button. Okay, as you can see, uh, it has uh, the validation, validation of the fields. And here, as you can see, one or more fields have an error. Okay, so that's because uh, this uh, would then add nothing in these fields. And um, let Let's go back okay um, let's go back and how you would I mean configure I mean this form to send email okay for example if we are if uh, we are in live server server sorry okay this you will I mean uh, remove this to add I mean the email of the server the email um, address of i mean i don't know of your server for example if you have your domain name has i mean uh, example.com your email would be for example uh, you will get rid of this you will add for example info at examples example.com and uh, form okay you will add the same email here okay Okay, it throw errors. It's because we are not in the production server. But once it was, it, there would be no problem. Okay, we add the same email form. Okay, and this message body already configured. Okay, your name. It would take the name from the email from the message, and your email. Um, we have not subject. Okay, we can get rid because we not put subject. But we have. But we do have message. Okay. And that's it. And after that, you're gonna save, and uh, everything is okay to sending email with this contact form. So that's it, guys. Okay, guys, we successfully transform the static, I mean, HTML form into a working WordPress form with the plugin um, contact form seven. And from now, after um, these i mean after ending this series because we almost uh, finished with this series and uh, you can comment below to suggest something okay if you do not have one so we're gonna continue making tutorials on new things and new technologies so uh that's it uh, don't forget uh, to subscribe and share it to your friend and uh, drop your comment below Okay, don't forget it. And uh, from now, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.